So, hey guys, it's Miss Burb, and I'm here with Phoebe and Jay. No, <laughs> <laughs> if we ever get like a third person, we should be NJ or something. Oh That's yes, yeah. <laughs> but we need to we need to make sure that their initial is J, so it's like authentic. okay. So we only accept based on their name. Like yeah. we only accept candidates based on exactly. You can audition <laughs> for it, but your name has to start with a J. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> so, Mayura. Oh. Oh my, I didn't like a react to it and like, I think I was a lot more expressive. Okay, this is happening, this is happening and it's like yes. piling on top of each other. So, um, general thoughts? <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting so much content. There was so, there's so many, like the plan, like his plan was well, really good. Yes. And I honestly, okay. The beginning of the plan, I thought, was like, oh, yeah, you know, akumatize the heroes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. That's scary. Like, get Chloe's parents in on this. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. In the end, I felt a little bit let down, though. Okay. Because, like, yeah, I, we'll talk about it later, but I, I felt a little bit let down. Like, I was like, okay, it, I feel like it could have been. But then afterwards, like, we you know, yeah. we got the Adrianette kiss, so <laughs> we'll talk about that. Um, Perfect. So, yeah, so we, it takes off right after, um... Like, immediately after... Yeah, right after Heroes, Catalyst. Which, Heroes Day, it was, part one. Yeah, Catalyst. Yeah, it's Heroes Day, part one and two, but it's called Catalyst and Myura, so it's... It, it's like a bunch of names. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, so that's it. So, he had gotten all the villains together, all underneath the Eiffel Tower, and he was, like, on top. Yeah. And then we have the five heroes, like, you know, waiting. So then he gives his, like, ultimatum, like, oh, we're going to take over Paris. Yay. I don't know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so they all, like, start fighting with each other. I enjoyed, like, like, Yahapas, he, like, protects. Yes. Ladybug at the beginning. So, like, you know, they're all they're He all protects everyone. They're all working together. And um, what did you think of uh, Hawk Moth's soundtrack? The soundtrack? He had, like... Guitar oh, villain, yeah, and, <laughs> and frightening Gale, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, that felt very weird <laughs> to me. I, I think it was a cool visual, but I was just yeah. like, what are they doing? I guess he just like he likes listening to terrible music while he's. <laughs> well, was their music good? I mean, I think isn't that like part of their power or something? Well, I, I mean, her power was to. She wasn't rhyming though, was she? Her power was to, like, touch people and make them... She had to tag them or whatever oh, to, yeah. like, make them... and dance or rhyme <clears throat> or otherwise they turn into statues or whatever. And Guitar Villain was to make people, like, headbang. Oh. Right? So they don't use their powers. They're just making music. Oh, no. So he akumatized celebrities just to, like, have them as his pet. <laughs> <laughs> as his pet. I mean... That's it. Like, there's also, like, Nadia Shamak, where she's... Yeah. Her job was basically to spread fear. Yes. So I guess the celebrities, in a certain way, were there also to be like, hey, look how yeah. I've corrupted. Like, if it can happen to them, it can happen to you. Yeah. And these are, like, the most powerful... Not the most powerful, but the people that you look the up to. The most popular, in the sense. So, yeah, I guess it was, like... That's it. His plan is so good. It is really good. <laughs> it's really good, so... It's very intricate, and there's, like, different facets to it and there's like step one step two and then yeah. there's like so used, many things going on and he does it so very well for most of the time and he like well, let's say he uses all like he not all of them obviously yeah. but he uses his strengths like he uses definitely his different um what do you call that uh Assets. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. He uses like his different like all the different powers like when he brought in Kim like I like I was like oh shoot he, yeah of course he would have dark cupid <laughs> and then he immediately starts using it to like create uh, like the anger yeah. so like, they could be reakumatized and it's like yeah that makes so much more sense you know um anyway so, so so they're fighting and then okay so then the heroes the other heroes got yeah. akumatized when I was watching that I was like oh shoot is she gonna turn into Lady Wi-Fi and like yeah ruin it <laughs> and. She well, didn't. I mean, she didn't. So I, I think that kind of points. And that's it. So Chloe, she turned into Queen Wasp again. Yeah. And I actually mentioned this in the other video. But like, so they're probably, like I said, they're, they're separate entities in a certain yeah. way. Like, maybe because he doesn't know, like, her, like, her other alter ego. But yeah, probably. Basically, but he does know Chloe. So basically, it's like, 
when they become a hero, they really do become like a separate person. Mm-hmm. So a separate person that can be akumatized into somebody yeah. else. Because exactly. everybody else just became what they already were. Yeah, right? because Chloe was akumatized as Chloe, but also as Queen Bee. So since she's in her Queen Bee form, she becomes Queen Wasp. Right. She's so there's like again. a different... And like Nino and Alia as Rena Rouge and Carapaz, they hadn't been acclimatized yet, so they take on like this new Rena, form. Rena Rage and <laughs> Carapé. I was... I liked... I liked... <laughs> Rena, but like, not Carapé. Carapé, it's like... Dude. <laughs> um... Yep, no, 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 no. I'm like, stop it. Rana <laughs> Raj makes sense. Makes I, sense. I think. Carapé was just like, oh, we have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, Thomas, but it's just... It's just it know, happens. Naming conventions. I mean, there's only so much you can do I yeah. also, with the character. So, anyways, everybody's red and angry. Scarlet. Scarlet, pardon me. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah. They're... Oh. Yeah. Scarlet. So, form. we discussed this when Catalyst came out. Like, oh, can Hawk Moth make new Akumas? And he can. Because he makes Renarage and... Because they're... Oh, he made new Akumatized yeah, people. Exactly. Like, right, he gave them, like, Akumatized forms, even mm-hmm. though they didn't have one. So, that is true, though. That he, they, Like, he still created new ones. And... It has to be. He, it can, it can't be right that you can just like use your power to amplify your own power. That's like, <laughs> that just doesn't work, man. Oh, just Ladybug can't. should do that. <laughs> Ladybug should make like, couldn't she like invent miraculous or something at oh. this point with like her with her yo-yo? Oh. Couldn't she like create anything? Couldn't she solve world hunger like Honestly. we talked about? Um, but yeah. Anyway, so then, so okay, so all their friends mm-hmm. turn against them. In the sewers, very romantic. So romantic. Perfect and, setting. Like, they, they, they talk to each other. Oh. No costume. In the he, sewers. but He <laughs> calls her my lady. I know. As married <laughs> as Adrian. Oh, and then they're like, so then they're like using the, they're like distributing the food. And then Plag's yes. like, hey, you need some oh. cheese too. I was Precious like, yes. Precious boy. Yes. Oh. He's becoming more selfless. Oh man, so so they're like talking to each other. Okay, so they're talking to each other, and I remember in Dark Owl, they yes. were like, "Oh, we won't even." So you know when they do that thing where they like de transform, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody went wild. They were like, "Oh, we won't even say anything." Uh-huh. Like they tried to make an emphasis on not speaking, right? Yes. So why? Oh, okay. I just thought. Okay, anyway, because I was, okay. Sorry. So they've had the emphasis on not speaking. So yeah. it was kind of the idea that if they did hear each other out of costume, wouldn't they recognize each other? Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. So I'm like, okay, so why can't they talk to each other now? Mm-hmm. But I was just thinking that in Dark Owl, they were in the safe case. Yes. And the Dark Owl could hear them. Yeah. So maybe that's why they didn't want to speak outside of costume at that point. Because maybe. Maybe one of them would slip up or something and give their position away or... I don't know, something... something. Okay, I answered my own question though, but <laughs> I tried to explain it if anybody understood. No, um, I get it because it's in Dark Owl. They don't want to speak. They're like, oh, we're going to recognize each other, but... Or I something, I don't know. Like, well, like, and they were in the case, right? Yeah. In, like, the canister case. And then the she, Like, they, they did that thing where, like, you know, they made, yeah. like, Adrian shut up and... They were like, we're not even going to speak, so they don't say anything. But in that canister, they had to block the screen. Because yes. at first, he could see them, and he could hear them, even though they're, yeah. in, they're encased. So he could still hear so them. So mostly, it was just not to let him know what they yeah. were doing, I guess. Maybe. So anyway, so I, I kind of like figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> and say. even if it were really about like the voices, you could argue that <clears throat> in this, like recognizing each other's voices out of costume you could argue that like in the sewer there's a sort of echo maybe that distorts oh, their voice yeah actually that's good yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know so they could be like <laughs> i won't know who you are i won't know who you are anyway so it's like yeah it's okay we'll, yeah it'll be fine but um anyway so they have their, their conversation where everybody is just like ah you know and i was anyway i was freaking out so then they I do was like just speak <laughs> look at each other well that's it they could have totally peaked when they jumped and they didn't 
it was that's like an awesome like visual. Oh, it was yes. Like just seeing them, it's like you're right next to each other, and then they transform. Uh, I I probably would have opened my eyes, but like by accident, <laughs> you know, because you're falling down and you're like ah. Yeah, that's some. Like, how do you remember to close your eyes? While you're falling. They didn't even talk to each other. They just kind of did it, yeah. right? They didn't tell each other anything. So it's like, they're heroic, man. Like, they are. They're heroic. That's why they don't have to open their eyes. That's why we're not superheroes, because we would open That's our eyes. That's why they have the Heroes Day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so then Siren and Animan, Animan, right? Like, yeah. they, they corner oh, yeah. them, and, like, so they have, like, their water powers. And, um... They, I don't know, they fight, and then they, they go out into... I was, like, I was looking, because basically the sewer just drops right into the sign. Yes. So their sewer just goes oh, into the no. river. I mentioned that, and, like, the other people were saying, like, yeah, that's how it works. Oh, no. <laughs> so, like, that's so it's like, okay. Um, apparently, it's a very good place to dispose of bodies. Oh. So I've been told. Wow. <laughs> You needed to know that, okay? <laughs> no, sure, yes. Um, so they... Okay, so then Frozer attacks them. That's it. It's like all these different villains just go after them, right? I know. And I love that they switch from, like, one costume to the other and, like, their powers and just... Yeah, it's it. It's so natural. It's yeah. Like, yeah. There's no need to stop for the long transformation sequence. They're just right to it. Yeah, it's it. So that's... that's that good job. Good. Yes. So they. Anyway. So then they. What do they do? Yeah. Okay. Can we talk about the fact that all the villains were super easy to take out? Like, yeah, there were yeah. there were many of them, but all of them were just like, okay, I'll just grab your thing and. Oh yes. Be gone. <laughs> Everything broke so easily. Maybe that's the maybe that's the weakness. Everything becomes fragile. <laughs> oh, becomes maybe scarlet. so. Oh, <laughs> just grab it. But like, that's it. I was like, okay, it's. Maybe okay. You could argue it's because they have experience defeating each villain individually. Yeah. That's what they say, right? But, I mean, still, it should be harder than that. Yeah, and some of them, as you as we mentioned in Catalyst, don't even have the same object, right? Like Sabrina, before it was a brooch, now it's her glasses. So it's like some of yeah. them, you know, it's not the That's same. That's actually... Okay, interesting point, because yeah. in... I, I did... I, I Again, I thought about that before. It was like, well, their, their objects... Okay, the objects to akumatize them are different. Yes. Like, for example, Rose has a cell phone. But the actual item is the same. So uh-huh. somehow it transfers over. So I'm like, fine, whatever. Okay. But Sabrina's, hers was the brooch, but now it's her glasses. Yeah. So it's the only one that has, like, no connection. Oh, really? Oh, I hadn't thought about it that closely. Wow. Well, I didn't. I forgot about the yeah. catalyst until you, you pointed it out, though, so. But then Marinette just... <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Like, why did Marina grab the glass? Like, that's it. Unless she saw it, like we mentioned mm-hmm. last time. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's a small thing, but, you yeah. know, like, I, it's, usually I'm pretty, like, I, I find I'm pretty negative. I, I'm just, I'm like, gonna let it go. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. <laughs> it makes sense to go for the classes if there's no brooch, right? Just grab whatever's on her and just kind of yeah. break everything <laughs> until you find the right one. So, um, and then, okay, so they defeat Frozer. Yeah. And then they go straight for Hawk Moth, right? I think so. And they're like, so then it's like Ladybug and Cat Noir, like By against themselves. Hawk Moth. And it's just like, yes, we've been waiting two seasons for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the Parisians rise up. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just, so then they had like all the bigger ones come after them, plus yeah. uh, Dark Knight thing. Yeah. That sounds like Batman, but not not him. Uh, Dark Blade. Dark Blade. Thing, Dark Blade. So. Adrian's teacher. <laughs> Yeah, his his fencing teacher. So they like all fight against each other. There's, did you see that picture of Manol? No. There's like I a picture of like Manol and she's like apparently in the crowd. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like somebody po- posted a thing it was like the revolution starts young. <laughs> it's so cute. Aww. So um yeah, I thought that was like I get like I don't know, it, it makes sense and I don't know, it's a cute yeah. There's a lot of things that just happen in this, and it's like, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. And I, I really like that, too, that, like, <clears throat> the whole city comes together to fight Hawk Moth. So I guess only half of them are akumatized, then. Yeah. Because then... Because, I mean, others, like, Anansi, or they could... Yeah, they just, like, fended it off. At they time. were just like, no, not again. The fearless people. Yes. Oh, that's actually sad, because then you think it's, like, the fearless people, they didn't get akumatized, but then the fearful, they did, so it's like... Well, some of them weren't afraid. Some of them got hit by Dark Cupid, too. 
Oh, was he going around doing that? Well, I know he did it to like the. He did it to like Kagami too, and just... like yeah, he redid it to them. Yeah. But did he like go out in the city to do it on purpose? Hmm. I don't remember. Hmm. Anyway, but like. I don't know. Maybe some of them were just having a bad day, and they were like, "Oh, Kumas, <laughs> they're just like take me, <laughs> take me." That's like all the st- all the students were definitely gone. Okay, at that yeah. point. Um. So they okay, yeah, yeah. There was I for, like yeah the Parisian. Uh, that's it. It's like so. It's such a small part. I forgot about it. Like yeah. it has like no significance on like the rest of the episode. It's just like it happened. It happened. At least we know what Paris was doing in the meantime. Because most yes. of the time, we don't even know what the rest of Paris is True. happening. It's like, oh, yeah, the mayor got taken over, like, a couple times, you know, where, like, they replaced the mm-hmm. leader. Or, like, in Frozer, did they all just freeze? Did they die? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's all those. Wait, did they? Because now he just froze the city again. But not the whole city. Oh, he only froze part of it? Yeah, only part of it. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I, I yeah, I, I was like... Because when she that? does the Lucky Charm, they do, like, a wide shot and you can kind of just see that it was only around like the Eiffel Tower oh yeah can we talk about the fact that you just randomly released butterflies that oh did yeah nothing I which part was that it might have been at the beginning where she just kind of like throws but like not butterflies like ladybugs in the air oh. and then it's like oh okay <laughs> cool <laughs> um <clears throat> we'll get but like okay so the final battle, yes. or like, like Ladybug, she like she does her thing and she gets like the, mm-hmm. what are we, what do you call that? The Mirac- box. Yeah, the miraculous miraculous container box thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of like a jewelry box, but it's just for miraculous. Yeah. So it's a jewelry miraculous only box. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so they, so she does it and she's like, yeah, it's a signal. You're gonna put it in here. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so basically it's a mirror, and okay, what was. I pointed this out, and people were talking about it, but it's, like, Kim only shot, like, one arrow, so his plan was to, like, hit them. Yeah. And then akumatize them. Yeah. And then it just fails. Yeah. Due to a mirror. <laughs> when Kim shot the arrow, I was like, why just the one? Yeah, right? that's it. Like, he, before, he shot, like, three at the <clears throat> time, and I was like, you could have just shot, like, five. Yeah, it, Right? He, he, two at least, right? Yeah. He hit both of them, and then he just he just hits imaginary hawk moth, like yes. the, the illusion version. And I don't know. And then I was like, okay, but is that the rest of your plan? And then hawk moth is just like, oh, that was the rest of my plan. And I'm like, oh, you didn't have any further. Yeah. You didn't have any other plan rather than this. I was like, okay. I th- that's that's why I'm saying it's kind of it feels weak. It's like you had like all this amazing setup, and Absolutely it fails because. Agree. Of a mirror, <laughs> well, a reflection. Yeah. So it's like okay, um, and then it's revealed that it's Volpina. Yeah. Volpina was doing the illusion. Apparently, um, there's a um, the guy's name is Winnie okay. on uh, Twitter. He said, "Was it Winnie or was it Thomas that basically said that somebody asked why isn't Volpina red? Like yeah. why isn't she Scarlet Volpina? And the answer is that she was supposed to be." Oh, so that was because that's one thing I, I I actually noticed. I was like, yeah. why isn't she? So was she like before? So it was a mistake. Then? So it was a mistake. Um, nice, interesting to know. Yeah. I, I I learned that like this morning, so I thought I would I would share it here. Um, so anyway, so there's Wilpina, and then Hawk Moth. He then Hawk Moth really fights with them, he does. and then he's like they're like going all out at each other, and like I don't know about you, but like for me, I was just like, well, that that's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> your dad <laughs> i actually didn't you didn't think of that no. to me that's like all i was thinking about oh my god. like later on after he the transforms or whatever i'm like oh my god if he just looks over he's gonna see his dad but okay that was it for like in when i was doing the react i was just there i was like go after him yes go after him yes <laughs> i mean i can imagine that he could get far because he mm-hmm. didn't look injured or whatever. So he could maybe run away. But he's in the Eiffel Tower. It's going to oh. take him a while to get down. Ladybug, go do a little spinny thing around. <laughs> look and see if there's anybody around, you know? I'm like, And the, the person that's there and it's not accumatized, that's your hawk moth. I, like, obviously, 
they're going to be like, oh, look, your Gabriel Agres is here. Yeah. I don't know why he's here. They would have done some they kind of fake done out. They would have done that, yeah, like, for sure. So, okay, so is it better for us to not go look for him or for them to do, like, the thing where it's like, oh, who could it be? Even though Gabriel's just standing right oh, there. God. It might be better, I guess, to, like, But the <laughs> Nora was flying there, too. So if they saw Gabriel with Nora, they would have been like, ah, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> there's no way that we can pretend this isn't real. No, they would have done, like, ah, oh, I don't know, I saw a fleck of... But purple. Nora finally eye. got away from Hawk Moth and found you. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so, um, okay, so then, all right, so they're fighting him. They yes. break the staff thing that they has do. the scarlet power in it. Yeah. So then Catalyst doesn't have control on Hawk Moth and everything. Mm-hmm. So then, like I said last review, <laughs> she goes and she gets the peacock. Yes. And so, what do you think of her appearance? I actually like the design. I think it's cute in a way. Like th- the 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 long robe, the long kind robe, of, yes, yeah. and the little like fan thingy. I'm not a fan of like I'm not a fan <laughs> of like her face. I agree. Like the first shot that we saw, it was only like half of her face, and I was like, oh, yeah, looks good. But then full like when we saw the full face, I was like, not. I don't like it as much. She looked meaner in like. The, like in the concept art, she yeah. looked a lot. I don't know, edgier. <laughs> no, I agree. She looked a lot more intimidating than she did then. Like in this one, she just looks. I mean, Hawk Moth, he looks mean, yes. right? He just like I don't know. It's always because he's always like doing that. Like, face, you know, like the, the... <laughs> his mask is just permanently frowning. So <laughs> his evil face, you know. But like for her, it's just kind of. It, it just doesn't have the same like effect. Agreed. But that's it. She's not... Okay, so that's it. So the one misconception I had was that she was going to be evil. Yes. She isn't. She's only as evil as Gabriel is evil. Exactly. In that sense. So it's like, okay, I got to revise my entire strategy now. <laughs> um, I mean, we all assumed she was going to be evil, right? Yeah. Well, like, I don't know. but Especially based on the concept art, she looked a lot more threatening than hawk moth ever did well honestly we kind of should have seen it coming because in the yes. collector like we uh, like everybody assumed the collector was gonna be like this grand new villain right yeah. and he just turned out to be an akumatized person okay you know yeah so i feel like we should have seen that okay this wasn't gonna be as big of a deal either probably like, hawk moth is the villain yeah of the series right now that's what like the show is like hawk moth is a big deal don't worry about the other characters Basically, go after hawk moth yes. um so she's okay, so she gets it and she's like her power is to send out a feather. Yeah. And so I was thinking that maybe it's not or is it somebody I don't know, my, maybe somebody else said it, but like it's like the idea that she's not just Mayura. She is Mayura akumatized version, you know what I mean? Okay. Like she has like her skin is different, which usually only happens for akumatized people, right? Yes. So she she's like in a so that's why her power was so similar to Catalyst and Hawk Moth because her power is still to give out. Okay. You, you do you follow? No no no, no <laughs> I am I am following. I get what you're saying. I'm just trying to remember like when she grabbed the miraculous was she still as a, as oh, Catalyst? Oh her hand. Yeah. Like her hand would actually be able to tell us. That'd be interesting. Exactly. That's what I'm like trying to remember. But. Can she dekumatize herself though? That's the question. Because usually Cause only... she was Akuma. She was like the original Akuma, right? So right. when the baton broke, she technically wouldn't have been the like. She didn't get dekumatized. Her exactly. object, her iPad, was still because she wasn't a Scarlet Akuma. Yeah. right? she was like a regular. She, she Akuma. was the normal one. So, so technically she would have been fine, right? Unless Gabriel subconsciously took it out. Like, he knew that she would have no purpose anymore, so he took yeah. it out or something. But, because then in in the Catalyst, they actually did show him taking out Akuma, right, from Volpina. So yes. So how exactly did that happen? Do you, if, do you remember? If not, like... I think he just said, like... Your job is done, and then he just, like, goes or away. Or something, yeah. Maybe. Okay, because it's like, it's like... So that's it. So it's like the idea of, like, can we compare and see, did he really take it out on purpose? Did yeah. she release it somehow or I don't know yeah questions <laughs> questions questions that I hadn't considered so she sends out a feather yes and she 
So she's like, I'm going, let me help you. Mm-hmm. And then we see Jay real like, no, don't do that. Yeah, it's like, Anyway, I don't know. If you're, I like that. <laughs> I, I like Gabriel, like, actually being scared of something. Reacting. Yeah, reacting besides being like, I'm mean, I'm your dad. Like, yeah, because usually he's <clears throat> very just stoic. And, like, even when he's feeling something for Adrian, it's still very, like, he doesn't show his emotions. Yeah, he's just He'll like, just do this, it. be safe, stay put. Yeah, but now he he's making facial expressions. Good job! You gained emotion. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. So he's like, he's like actually worried about her. Yes. We'll talk about that. Like, let's just. So she gives him. She's like, oh, let me help you. So then she like mm-hmm. manifests his anger in a butterfly. Is yeah. it because he's a butter like he's the butterfly mirac- or moth miraculous whatever <laughs> that he like makes a moth? I don't that know. That flaps its wings a lot. That was just really <laughs> weird. <laughs> that's it. I was just kind of like. Okay, I was, this is happening now. I was like, did not expect things to go this way, but okay. And that's how he gets away, and mm-hmm. he detransforms, and then nobody tries to go look for him. Yeah. So then after, like, he really goes back home, and he's like, oh, um, why'd you do that? And then she's yeah. like, I had to help you. And, and she's coughing. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. She's coughing, so now she's sick. Yes. Whether that's, like, a temporary or, like, permanent thing, we don't know. So it could be, like, she's sick forever now or she's just, like, she'll get over it. Like, she just needs rest. I would probably say temporary based on the fact that she only used it very temporarily. Right. It wasn't even that long. So I would would be inclined to believe it's temporary, but, again, no one knows. So it's, that's just everybody saying that it's, that's what happened to Emily, that she got sick because of that. So, um... I think, oh, that's definitely, that's, if everybody's thinking that, though, so yeah. is it really, I Well, I mean, everyone it. thought Gabriel was Hawk Moth, and it was true. <laughs> so, so you think that this is actually, like, the final reason? It or? might be, I think, in my opinion, it's probably at least the main reason why okay. she's in her state, right? Something happened to the Peacock Miraculous. Yeah, because the Peacock Miraculous was with her, like, was next to her picture, so... That implies that she used the miraculous, right? Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. True. And so if we learn now that it's damaged and we see that Natalie is like cuffing and what whatnot, you can kinda like link it together yeah. and be like, Oh, that okay. probably something similar probably happened to Yeah, Emily. so it, it's probably just that more or less. Like yeah. we don't we still don't know details like why is it what happened in Tibet exactly. exactly. Like why you know? is the miraculous damaged? Yeah. Like, what does he do to you if you use it while you're damaged other than coughing and being in a weird, random coma death thing? And people are saying that that's what happened because Tiki got sick. And then yeah. that's what happened to... Um, oh. That, like, that, because that's it. Tiki got sick and that's it. So basically, Dusu? Is that how they pronounce it? Dusu. I'm not sure. Dusu or whatever. I'm going to pronounce it Dusu for now. Okay. Basically, that's how what happened to Dusu. Dusu got sick mm-hmm. and never got cured because they, she, didn't oh, have, she, yeah. she didn't have access to a healer like Tiki oh. did. Oh. And basically, so it's an unhealed Kwame. Okay. It's like one of the theories going around. Ah. Which I think kind of makes sense because it it's not, it's like, why did Tiki get sick? Like, why? what's the yeah. relevance of that? So... If we're incl- if we're to believe that everything in the series has a series has a purpose more or less, then well, isn't Tiki getting sick important because <clears throat> that's when Marinette first properly meets? There uh, is Master. that, but like it's still random how she yeah true randomly got sick with no explanation. Like most of the time, all you had, you'd have to do was like show her Marinette forgot her outside or something. You know, <laughs> no, she she can fly through walls. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, like yes. that, that that idea. So, th- it's an idea, right? That that's going around. Um, I don't know. Do you have any other no. theories from Tumblr? Since you are well, a not about like what happened to the Akuma, but I saw this one post that suggested that Nat Natalie was in some way related to Emily, oh, and, and that's, that's why she was helping Gabriel. So not she... that she loves Gabriel or anything, but really that she's like 
Emily's sister or cousin or something. So it's like taking care of like the brother-in-law. Yeah, thing. something oh, of okay. the kind. I mean, it's an interesting theory, and like if that were true, it would make a lot of sense. But I don't think it is. Like she fears him. She fears him yeah. in the bubbler, right? She's like, oh shoot, my boss gonna get angry at me, you know? So yeah. I don't know. Maybe they were just close friends, right? Like Emily. And well, like, Natalie. why would he tell Natalie, but then not tell the bodyguard? It's like, why not just tell the bodyguard, like, hey, I'm, I'm a criminal. Yeah. Just make sure my son is does stays away from other criminal activities. Wouldn't it be better then to just tell the gorilla guy, who still doesn't have a name, like, poor yeah. Dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe he doesn't, he because he doesn't spend as much time with him, right? He doesn't trust him as much as he trusts Natalie. But he could like do his job better if he knew. That. Or he could be like, I don't want to work with you anymore. Bye. Oh, okay. I so it's know. like, oh, maybe <laughs> he's not sure if he's a loyal goon. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So I mean, Natalie also lets Adrian do his thing. <laughs> a lot of the time, she'll be like, "You're not supposed to do that." And then, but he's a boy, and they don't always know he's <laughs> Yeah. True. So, um, yeah. So then, okay. Then last scene. Adrian at kiss on the cheek. People were like, "Oh, is that is it like a romantic kiss or is it like a French thing?" And oh <laughs> my god, no. <laughs> okay, so in my opinion, it's a romantic thing. It's a romantic thing. Yeah, you don't just like like I in French and even here you do usually yeah. like kiss someone on the cheek when you meet them, but that's usually with like family or family friends. And you do it friends. on both cheeks. Exactly. One kiss is weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And also, like, teenagers don't do that. Yes. Unless their parents are, like, dragging them along to yeah. somewhere. They're like, meet this person. And you're Go, like, come okay. on, kiss them. And it's like, okay. Yeah. So, and, even, like, and even then, you just kind of, like, smack cheeks. Exactly. It's not a proper <laughs> kiss. You never actually put your lips on their cheeks. Yeah, you just kind of, like, do, like, a half hug. And you just kind of, like, smack yeah. faces. And that's it. Yes. So, so yeah. it's definitely romantic. Well, I mean, we are... Um, we're not in France, right? So no. there, there is some difference and whatnot, but like... But it's... <laughs> I mean... Do teens they just never greeted themselves like that, right? Yeah, they've never done it. So the fact that culture. now she's like grabbing all two shoulders... Well, no, she doesn't grab two shoulders, does she? Anyway, the she fact... She smacks into him and looks <laughs> really awkward while doing it. <laughs> anyway, she purposely gets like... To his cheek and kisses it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's so like, it's meant to it's be... It's romantic, guys. Okay, take yes. our word for it. Um, so there's improvement on that end. That's, actually, that means that the next season, we're going to start off with Adrian knowing that Marinette has a crush on him. But then he's going to say but does no. he? He's going to be like, oh, she's just a friend. She was just being nice. <laughs> Look, okay, the inti- the entire internet is... A- he's going to basically do these, the same debate as, like, the entire internet, where he's just like, uh, is it romantic? Is it just friends? Oh, probably. No. No, he's going to he's gonna know, okay? He better know. <laughs> he better know. He's going to know, and he's going to be like, oh, shoot, but, like, Ladybug, and then... Well, I mean, he saw all of the pictures that Marinette had in his room, and Maybe he was like, put- she's <laughs> just a friend. Maybe he'll put two and two together. Yeah, let's hope so. But can we please start off the next season with an episode of, like, Adrian, like, what do I do with this information? Now? Not not even any Akuma, not any other characters other than Adrian and Flag being, like, she's just like, no. <laughs> 20 minutes of Adrian and Flag just, like, arguing. Please. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we talked about last time that our review was going to be for both episodes together, mm-hmm. pretty much. So... <clears throat> Entire story episode, I give it 9 on 10? 9 on 10 because of pretty weak ending. Agreed. And I, some things, like, yeah, 9 on 10 for, like, the weak ending. And some things were just kind of, like, random, but... Yeah, I would say 9 on 10 as well. But pretty solid story. Very, very that was solid. That was a lot of fun. And, I, and that's it, like, Catalyst having no villain. And then you just kind of... That's it. So it's like, it's basically one long 40 minute episode. And it was good. It was was really good. And it was a culmination of two seasons because they could only have all those Mm -hmm. villains because of the past two seasons. Yeah. So it's, it's really, that's it. It's just, 
everything together a season finale of the past two seasons. It is. Like, it'd be better, honestly, to think of season one and two as one long Continuous, season. yes. Because then it's, like, a lot better, but... Because the whole story just kind of follows up, right? Yeah, that's it. and that's it. It really is, like, just... Like, when are we ending? Like, what's the last day... Like, season one, like, it started pretty much Stoneheart, yeah. right? So, like, where are we right now in the timeline? What month is it oh. in their universe? I don't know. I, I would say it's one year. But, I mean, like, they still have the same teachers, right? That's that's the one thing. That's the one issue is that, like, the teachers are still the same and everything, but... Yeah. It's, it, like, because, like, of the way... It, didn't I mention it, like, last episode, there was, like, a time... It was several months since Volpina and yeah, all that. Yeah, so it's like the summer, blah blah blah. So, probably September because of that, mm-hmm. but it doesn't make sense. No. Or maybe next, or maybe next season will be like new school year, and then we'll have like new peak characters. Oh, whatever. maybe so. That could be. It'd be interesting if they switch some things up. Like if let's say they really do keep the formula of for like. Um, like, having the Akuma and then, like, you know, go through the same rhythm. Be just, like, to have, like, a new set of characters or just a new set of... It would be. Something different, you know? Like, a different dynamic in the classroom, right? Like... Yeah. Because we're of. so used to everyone being the same, right? So, growing up. Like, they yeah. actually grow up. They change clothes. How about changing clothes once in a while? Your clothes must stink. And not but... pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Something other than pajamas, too. So, um, yeah, so I'm, season three is, like, it's probably going to be a couple months. Probably. Probably, but, I don't know, people are talking about, like, some episodes are being dubbed in, like, Spain. Oh. And, um, was it Spain or somewhere, but, so who knows? I don't know. I don't think, they'll, they'll probably make us wait at least a while. Like, I would. To, like, amp up the, uh, the hype. Like, I would be okay with waiting until, I don't know, not too long. But, like, like you know, like, mm-hmm. next year. Like, not don't, like... Because, I mean, in December, then we'll have, like, all the episodes, like, out on Netflix or whatnot. Yes. But, um... So we could rewatch them. In somebody proper said, quality. Somebody said March or something. Oh. 2019. So... Still you know, pretty close. <clears throat> yeah, so that's still pretty close and pretty good, all things considering. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, this review has gone on long enough. <laughs> so, um, any last thoughts? Uh, oh, yeah, the thing that I sent you of, like, oh, what if Adrian's uh, allergy of feathers has, like, a darker meaning? Let me look that up. Wait, wait, wait. It was just, like, one picture. It was, a, like, a screenshot of something I saw on Tumblr, and I was like, huh. What if Adrian is allergic to feathers because the peacock akuma or something is damaged? Oh, uh, you only sent me this. Yeah, there's no actual explanation, but... Oh, okay, because you just sent me the picture <laughs> <laughs> of there's, like, a cat underneath it, and I was like, what? Or, what was I thinking? Anyway, but, like... There's I don't... no actual explanation <laughs> to it, but it's just a thought of, like... His feather allergy becomes, like, a huge <laughs> plot point in the future. <laughs> He has I mean, a feather allergy because of, like, the peacock was damaged and his mom was, like, pregnant with I mean, they brought him. it up several times, right? True. At least in two episodes, it's been brought up, so. But it was a, con- but the second episode was a continuation of the first, yeah, though. I like, know. Style Queen. But still. Anyway. It'd be funny, though, that was did become a plot point. So, anyway. We'll leave it there. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, I think maybe... I don't know, maybe we can do a season two review in general or I don't oh, know, yeah. keep talking. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop making miraculous videos because haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you to pa- my Patreon supporters. And also, by the way, I actually have a public post on Patreon right now of um, my ideas for the Miraculous Ladybug uh, live action movie trailer, a fan made one made by like me and, and whatnot yeah um i put out the ideas and whatnot so if you guys want to go and take a look uh you don't have to pay you i you just can you can go and just take a look and read it up and uh, offer me uh feedback and critis- criticism if you have any other ideas for how i can make it better or whatnot mm. i'm probably gonna use pbs tiki by the way <laughs> uh, yay. so um 
yeah hopefully i think if i write it out on like patreon then that'll yeah. help me like move it actual actually forward okay because right now i've been a lot of planning and not a lot of yeah. doing i still don't have an alia so that's interesting so mm -hmm. anyway please give me your feedback thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye